Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So today we are going to discuss the answer for a very important question that is quite often asked in an interview. How will you deal with a defect which has been missed by you? Now this question can come up to you in a technical interview. I know it's not technical enough, but it's kind of a uh, behavioral kind of a question. What should be your behavior? How will you react? Right. And it will definitely come in the management uh, interview round of interview so because management round of interview people do anticipate people do expect that you can handle these kind of situations and they would expect you that uh, okay if he or she has not faced so what he or she will do if he or she has already faced then what he has done in the past or what she has done in the past right so now coming back to the question how will you deal with the situation if you have missed a bug right now, the very first thing is to uh, to stay calm during this situation, right? See, uh, if you will get tensed, if you'll get stressed, if you will get worried about the bug has been missed by you. So ultimately, you won't be able to find the root cause, how the bug got missed, right? So the very first thing is you will have to be calm. See, these are the professional ways and this is how you will have to answer in an interview. This is how you have to articulate in an interview. Right. I'm explaining you the answer. I'm giving you the details along with the points, but you can cover points. And if asked the detailed explanation, you can carry on in the interview in this manner. Right. So the very first thing is you have to stay calm. You have to uh, you don't have to take stress that. OK, see what happened has happened. Now, the next thing is how to make sure that such things should not get repeated. That is a very important thing. Right. The second thing is how to make sure that such things should not get repeated. Okay, for that, what you will have to do, you will have to analyze the defect. It might happen that defect is getting reproduced only on the customer's machine, only on their environment, right? So what you can do is there are two, again, sides of the coin. So one thing is if it is getting reproduced on the production environment, if it is only getting reproduced on the customer's machine, then you can take a help from the customer you can request your client or whomsoever it is and you can request them that you would like to create a have a mirror image of that environment and you would like to reproduce the issue you would like to see how it is getting reproduced what are all the different factors which the help of which it is getting reproduced second thing is if it is getting reproduced at your end right then you will have to identify what is the scenario if it is a simple straightforward scenario okay then you have to uh, have a word with the team member or your team manager that yes it was your miss honestly accept your mistake if it is a corner case right then there is a uh, i would say slight uh, uh, color showing up in the sky right so there is a good ray of hope that can come up which you can defend but over here the answer is the mindset is not to defend yourself right because you are don't think yourself only that you are only doing testing Right. Think yourself as a team. Think as a team you have missed the defect. Don't take it on yourself. Don't think towards in that direction. Yes, it's missed by my, my end. I might get less increment this year. I might get less bonus in this year. I might get laid off because of this mistake. No, no one is going to do that. And uh, another thing is, see, if it is a straightforward scenario, okay, you accept it. You honestly accepted your mistake. Second thing is, if it is a corner case, then you have to educate the stakeholders. You have to educate the client. Now, over here, again, if there is a um, misunderstanding, that is you both are not on the same page. That is your client is telling, no, it's not a corner case. You are telling it's a corner case. Then you need to understand the software from the business point of view. Maybe there is uh, something that you have not understood the requirement from the business point of view. And that is why this bug, this scenario got missed to test from your end. Okay. The third and the very important thing is uh, whenever you are being asked, so you can tell that, uh, yes, I'll take care of uh, this test scenario by including them in my regression test suit. Or uh, you can also tell that I'll create a checklist in which I'll, uh, uh, I'll document, I'll list down all the important scenarios which are to be tested and I'll include this scenario also as a part of that checklist. So this is how you are telling that um, the, the test strategy the approach that you are going to take care from the future onwards in order to make sure that this mistake is not being repeated. Okay. So as I mentioned you earlier, 
the first thing and the foremost thing is to identify the root cause so that you will come to know. The second and the foremost thing is to make sure that this thing is not being repeated again, right? So that's how you have to deal with this question. You will have to uh, explain the interviewer in the best possible manner. You can explain with all these points. But at the same time, if there is any other point that is coming to your mind, which might be missed by my end also, so you can feel free to comment in the uh, comment section of this video so that the people who are watching this video may read those comments and they can come to know their knowledge will also increase. Even my knowledge will also get increased. Right. So thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned for more updates.